Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to week nine of online learning. I hope you all are doing well. Um, yeah, feels like summer outside. That's kind of nice. I'm ready for it. Um, as you can see from my picture, my best friend, Sam the cat, is back living in my apartment. So we had a lot of fun planning your lesson together this week. Um, yeah, let's get going. Um, so this week, we are going to talk about a uh, new right, keeping our discussion of rights going. Um, and this is a right that might be especially relevant to you. It is the right to college. So we're gonna be understanding a little bit about why college is so unaffordable in the United States, why it is so expensive, and it's crazy expensive. And then we're gonna be thinking about should college be a right? In other words, should the government take responsibility for making sure that everybody can afford to go to college. So those are our questions. Um, as always, you're gonna have a choice of one of the three activities. Um, they are the same three activities. Um, do my lesson, choose your own topic, read the news. Um, if you're interested in doing your own topic, um, a lot of folks have come up with some interesting questions to answer and they are studying them. Um, so really, I encourage you to take that option up if you're feeling a little bored of the rights. Um, but if not, I think, learning about the right to college is really interesting and really important for someone your age about to make a bunch of decisions related to college. Do you like my shirt? It says C Tom Pride, because I like C Tom. Um, cool, quick reminders that the semester two grades are based on online learning, at least partly based on online learning. Um, so this work counts and um, if you've not been fully keeping up in the lessons, that is okay. You still have time to earn credit for online learning, even if you haven't been completely keeping up. So strongly recommend you do that. Um, yeah. All right. Um, let's go to this week's notes. Um, so you'll be taking these on page three or step three of the lesson um, in that first box. Um, and these notes are called College in America. The first note says that tuition is expensive at both blank colleges, which are run by state governments, and blank colleges, which are independently controlled. So tuition, of course, is the money you have to pay to go to college. And it has been rising a lot at both public colleges, the ones run by state governments, and private colleges, which are independently controlled. So let's talk first public colleges. Um, every state in the country has its own set of public colleges um, that the state helps pay for. Um, they pay some of the costs and then um, students pay some tuition to go to them. Um, so UMass Boston, UMass Amherst, UMass Lowell, UMass Dartmouth, um, but also things like Framingham State, Salem State. If there's a college, usually this is true, that has the name of the state in it or that has state in there somewhere, then that usually means it's a public college. So UCLA, the University of California in Los Angeles, that is a public college. Um, Ohio State University, that is a public college. The University of Texas, public college. Um, all anything with like the word state or the name of the state in it is usually not always but usually a public college um and then you've got private colleges and private colleges are um some local ones boston college boston university harvard northeastern tufts um simmons suffolk emerson most colleges are private colleges. Um, private colleges are often a little smaller than public colleges. Um, and they're sort of, they're not run by the state government. Um, they are more independently controlled. Um, tuition at both of these places has gone up crazy high um, over the last 20, 30, 40 years. Um, step one of this assignment talked all about that. Um, usually, the tuition at a public school is going to be lower than tuition at a private school. In other words, public schools tend to be less expensive than private schools. Again, this is not always true, but most of the time it's true. Um, and 
you know, you can get a really high quality education at a private university and you can get a really high quality education at a public university. Um, sort of what's the best fit for you. So the second note says that as the price of college has increased, so has the amount of student blank. As the price of college has increased, so has the amount of student debt. Um, before we do anything, please, wherever you are, repeat the word debt after me. Debt. This is a word that tricks people up, trips people up. Um, the B is silent. You don't pronounce the B. So it's just debt. Debt. Um, so to pay for college, many, many, many young people take out loans and then they have to pay back their loans. And the amount of money you have to pay back is your debt. Um, sometimes it makes a ton of sense to take on some debt. Um, if you know, you can pay, take on $10,000 in debt to go to college to get a job that pays you $10,000 more every year, then, well, it should be pretty easy to pay off your debt and then you'll make that job up, make that money for the rest of your career. So sometimes debt is worth it. Debt is not always, always bad. But the amount of debt that some students go into for college can be kind of crazy and can really mess with people's lives. You can end up in $50,000, $100,000 in debt, and it can take you years and years, 10 years, 20 years to pay this off. Um, so as the price of college goes up, individuals are having to take on more debt, and it's causing more and more problems. That chart on the, bo on the bottom here um, shows that in just 2010, there was about $700 billion um, in student debt. Um, and now it's over $1.4 trillion in student debt. So it has almost doubled in less than 10 years. So lots and lots of student debt. People are worried about it. Um, my advice to you is be really thoughtful about where you're choosing to go to college. Um, learn how much debt it's going to be. And if you have another option that's just as good and cheaper, maybe go with the cheaper option. But really depends on your situation. You've got lots of good advi advisors here who can talk to you about it. Um, but keep debt in mind as you're thinking about college. The last note says that scholarships and financial blank can lower the cost of college, but these supports are not available to everyone. Scholarships and financial aid can lower the cost of college. So this is pretty cool. I'm sure you've heard of scholarships like for sports or academic scholarships. Those are for like, if you are an especially good student and especially good athlete, they really want you to come, they'll give you a scholarship. Um, you can also get something called financial aid. Um, and financial aid is where if you and your family don't make a certain amount of money, then the college will reduce the price that you have to pay. Um, so it's sort of strange at some of like the top universities, they have a lot of money, so they can give low-income students tons of financial aid. Um, some of the, like the less good colleges have less money to give out, and often they're less able to give financial aid. So scholarships are there, financial aid is there. It is good, but it is not enough to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to go to college. And just because you didn't get straight A's in high school does not mean that you don't deserve to go to college. Um, lots and lots of people deserve to go to college. It can be a great way to get a better job. But it seems like we have a problem. We are forcing young people to take on large amounts of debt and it can mess with their rest of their life. So the question we are asking in this lesson is, instead of having this system where individual people take on so much debt, put themselves at risk, should college be a right? in the United States? Should the government pay for college for everyone in the country in the same way that they pay for high school for everyone in the country, for elementary school for everyone in the country? Should college be added on? Is college so important these days that we need to consider it a right? That's the question I want you to answer. Um, and as always, um, hit me up with your questions. I'm online on Zoom every day. Email me, leave me a comment, text me. Um, I really like hearing from you. Uh, that's all. I look forward to reading your work this week. And um, yeah, have a good one.